Charles E's, man. Everything you need to know, man. Let's motherfucking hop into it, man. You know, lately we've been talking about rap music and shit, all time greats. You know, and I was strolling through motherfucking YouTube and shit, came across the guy. He said, and I want to know what y'all think. Leave a comment. He said, it's categories. It's a difference in being great. It's a difference in being the best. You feel me? And if this is true, I want to know what's the criteria of being great, being an all-time great. And if so, what's the criteria of being the best? You feel me? A lot of people say Biggie was was the greatest of all time. I was listening to this guy. He said he said Biggie was lyrically one of the nicest. He said Biggie was lyrically one of the nicest, along with Pun, uh, Jay, Nas, Pac, of course, etc. Eminem, you know. But he said Biggie wasn't. He said Biggie wasn't great. He said he wasn't an all-time great. He even said Biggie was one of the best. He said Biggie was one of the best, but he said Big wasn't an all-time great. He said when you're talking about the greatest of all, he mentioned on his list the greatest of all, you know, Pac, Nas, Jay. He ain't say Scarface. I threw Scarface and Andre 3000. He said also... He said Eminem, uh, Busta Rhymes. You feel me? I want to know what y'all's opinion is, man. What's the criteria of all-time great? I got Biggie as an all-time great. I got something myself that would trump what that guy was saying. Biggie's not an all-time great. Now, no. His, one of his criteria for all-time great is resume but check this out I got something that's going to trump even that resume even though Big wasn't in the game that long I want to know if y'all listening I want to know what y'all's three because anything above three is, is too easy I want to know what y'all's three criteria for being great what is your three criteria for being great, for being an all-time great? And if y'all have criteria for being the best, if it is something, if it is different categories between being great and being the best, I want to know your top three criteria. I want y'all to leave a comment. I want y'all to leave a comment. I'm going to give you my top three criteria for greatness. Because like I said, anything more is too easy. I'm going to give you the top three criteria for great and being an all-time great. I will have to say originality. Number one is originality. You got to be original. got to have your own style, your own shit, man. Originality. Number two, I would have to say skills. You gotta have some level of skill, man. That's different from originality. Cause I done heard niggas bite niggas styles and they, you know, they had some skill in that shit. You feel me? They had some skill. But number two, you gotta have that skill, man. You gotta have that skill. And number three. It's influence. That impact. You feel me? Number three, influence. Impact while while motherfucker was doing it. I want to know what is y'all's three criteria. Don't give me no more because like I said, it's too easy to go into four, five, six criteria. I want to know what is your top three criteria for being an all-time great, man. 
like I said, some of my all-time greats matches this guy that I found strolling through YouTube. Pac, Eminem, LL Buster. I personally threw Andre 3000, uh, Scarface, you feel me? Rock him, Daddy Kane, you know, niggas like that, etc., etc., man. Let me know what is y'all's criteria, man. Let me know. Is it also let me know? Is it a difference in being great, an all time great? And is it a difference on being the best? Is it a difference there? What are those criteria, man? I want to know. But like I said, dude was basically saying. Big don't have a resume, accolades, and so on and so forth, man. I say Big is an all-time great. And I'm going to tell you why. My argument trumped what he say. And that would be Big is an all-time great because of the impact, man. The impact, the influence that that young nigga made while he was doing it. Fuck how many albums he dropped. Fuck how many albums he dropped. It's the influence, man. It's the impact. Dude bought the East back. You better believe that. You feel me? That's why my argument trumps this guy's argument. Him saying Biggie don't have a resume to be an all-time great. I say he do because of his impact. And I challenge my subscribers, anybody out there. All Big had was two albums. Give me motherfuckers. In my comments, I want y'all to give me motherfuckers whose second album or even second gear in their profession, whether it's sports, entertainment, whatever, can match Biggie's. This nigga two albums in and they already saying he was the greatest of all time. That's impact. That's influence. Y'all out there let me know whose second album impact is better than Biggs. Let me know. Like I said, it could be basketball, football. Whose second year? Who at they second year niggas was saying is an all-time great? Second year, second album, whatever. They second season playing whatever sport, whatever. Y'all let me know. Leave a comment down below, man. Fuck with your boy. I told you. I'm bringing this flaming walk to y'all's ass, man. Original. I'm delivering this shit, man. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Share. Like this video. Fuck with me. Charles East platform. Overnight riches. The entertainment slash label. Fuck with me. Everything you need to know. When you need to know it. Peace.